Let's start working with the standard transitions in Resolve 15. Now, in general, a transition is applied on the edit point of the incoming and outgoing clip. But before you apply a transition, you need to check the handles for the clips. The handles are all the frames that are before the in point that are not visible within the timeline and all the frames after the out point that are not visible in the timeline. To check the handles of the outgoing clip, for example, all you have to do is to click on it when you are in your trim mode. Now you can see here the rectangle or the white border. This is the left handle or the in point handles, if you like, for the outgoing clip. And of course, on the right, you can see the out point handles. Similarly, for the incoming clip, you can see the right handles after the out point and the left handles. If you do not have enough handles, the transition might not work or the transition will fit only for the duration of the handles on the left and right. Go to the FX library. Let's uh, bring it down. Okay, we can see it all. Within your toolbox, you have video transitions. Inside, you have dissolve, iris, motion, and wipes and shape. The most interesting are the dissolve. I like very much the motion and the wipes. They are very much in use. Let me show you the effect of the handles here. Let's take the simple cross dissolve. I click and drag and put it just in the middle. Okay. I will take the outgoing clip, right click on it and disable the clip. So you uncheck enable clip. The shortcut is D. So that's what's exactly happening. To be able to do a dissolve, the transition will use the frames within the handles. Notice now, this is the last frame of this clip. And then after that, I will use the right arrow. It is using the handles frames to dissolve. You notice? So make sure that the frames over here are normal. It's not like the guy with the camera is showing or there is something abnormal here. Now let's put it on. I press D and similarly, I press D over here to hide it. And notice it's using the frames within the handle on the left or the in point of the outgoing clip. So to do the dissolve, let's put them both on. You have a very simple dissolve. Now I will delete the transition, just backspace. And let's try, for example, the push. Okay. If I click and drag, you can put it on the left. That is the left of the edit point. That is the right of the edit point and that is the center. Now notice the left is small because I don't have enough handles on the outgoing clip. And the right by default is one second. So I'm using the full one second. I have enough handles. You can put it in the middle here and you have your transition. Let's play in between in and out point. That will be Alt or Option on the Mac and forward slash, here you are. So you have a very nice push transition. The first thing you can do is to change the duration of the transition just from here. You can click on the border and drag it towards the edit point. You are reducing the duration. If you play now, you have reduced the timing. Okay, not bad. I will undo this. Now, this was about applying the transition left, right, or center and taking care of the handles. In the next lecture, I will show you how to customize this uh, transition using the inspector. See you then.